I just want to know like slay. why I didn't get the memo to do my makeup. I thought we were, I was kind of, I, I forgot I would do an intro. Anyways, <laughs> hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm here with my good friend, Sona, simply hey Sona. She has an amazing channel on YouTube. She's amazing on Instagram. She's just like the cutest little thing ever. Well, and you. not only that, she has a really amazing face, perfect canvas, and I really wanted to do your makeup today for this amazing natural glam bridal tutorial. By the way, I'm sitting on her lap, which is why this like <laughs> awkward position is happening, just in case you're wondering. So I want to do something really fun and different, and I thought it'd be awesome to show you guys how to achieve looks, whether you are doing this on your wedding day, you want this to be your everyday look, or you are actually working on clients. She slayed my face, basically. Yeah. She's trying to say, if you want to learn this look, then keep watching. Pretty much. Also, we did do a makeup challenge together, which you guys are going to die. Three and a half minutes. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> still blending? <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. It's the wrong color. Okay, when you Hilarious. see it, it is on her channel. I will link it below so you guys can watch it. You guys are just going to die. I mean, we had to take a shot of Hennessy just to get it done. So if you guys want to watch that, make sure to click on that after you're done with this video. Yes, yeah, make sure you watch this all the way and then head on over and watch the five minute exactly. drugstore <laughs> makeup tutorial, aka Hennessy Hot mess. Yeah. <laughs> With that being said, I hope you guys love both of our videos. Make sure to subscribe to both of our channels. Give our videos thumbs up. No, comment below <laughs> whose face you want her to slay next. How yes. about that? Yes, and comment if you guys want to see another collab with us, something funny, a challenge. All right, guys, enjoy. So I'm going to go in first and use a little bit of the Pixie Hydrating Milky Mist. To, and I'm going to apply this all over her skin. So I just really like to hydrate and prep the skin first. It's super important, especially if you're going to be wearing your makeup all day long. You want to make sure that your skin is prepped and pampered so that it looks amazing throughout the day. And the look is finished. I hope you guys enjoyed it. <laughs> and we are complete. She's done. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Next, I'm going to go in with the Glam Glow Glow Starter Moisturizer. This one has Hella Mega Illuminator in there. Illuminator in there. I'm just going to apply a little bit onto the back of a palette. And with the flat brush, I'm going to apply this pretty much all over her skin, but mainly to the high points of her face to get that glow from within. And it's very important that you just hydrate your bride's skin. You wanna make sure that her skin looks radiant, glowy, a little bit of everything, so that it shows in pictures and it lasts all day long. Um, and what I love about it is that it has a little bit of a tint too, so um, it won't change the way the skin looks. It doesn't alter the foundation. It just really makes everything look like you're just ugh, perfectly glowing, girl. All right, and then don't forget to apply a little bit of the moisturizer to the neck. Are you ticklish? <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> A little bit too Oh my god. <laughs> so next I'm going to apply a little bit of the Tarte Clean Slate Flawless Primer. This is a 12 hour brightening primer. This we're going to apply mainly to like her um, T-zone, just in the areas that she would get a little more oily in. And what I like to do is just kind of press it onto the skin. So applying it with the foundation brush really helps to push it into the skin. This mimics the ring finger, which is the softest finger in your hand. Did you know that? No. Um, it helps to mimic that finger, so it's getting a very light pounce and little pressure onto the face rather than tugging on it with your hand. And then again, just going to press it all over. And of course, don't forget the chin and laugh line areas. All right, and then really quickly, just going to apply a little bit of the Pure Hydro Gel Eye Cream. Have you tried this? Yeah. It's this so good. is so good. It actually has a built-in primer. So while her skin absorbs all the amazing products we just applied on, I'm going to start off with her brows, go to the eyes, and then work my way down to the rest of her face. So I'm going to go in now with the Benefit Brow Zings Eyebrow Powder and apply this to her eyebrows in the shade number 2. She has really full brows, so I'm just going to apply it where I feel she needs it at, and it's usually more towards the outside of the brow. And then now just going to the other eyebrow as well and just kind of sketching it on. As you guys can see, I'm kind of just flicking it up and working it around. All right, so next I'm gonna apply a little bit of the MAC Studio Finish Concealer in the shade NC20 to highlight underneath of her brow. I love doing this because it really helps to lift up the brow and kind of just hide any little strays and like hairs. You can, there's different ways to do it, but I'm gonna do a very, very subtle um, way of doing it so that it doesn't overpower too much. So going in with my mini shading brush, I'm just gonna apply a little bit mainly to the arch of the brow. I'm not gonna pull it all the way in because I don't want that sharp beginning of the brow. I just want the arch to be a little just defined. So 
So now that our eyebrows are done, we're gonna go in with the Urban Decay Shadow Primer Potion in the shade Eden. Helps to brighten up the eyes as well and everything just sticks on so much better. All right, so we are now gonna go in on our eyes and we're using the Persona Identity Palette. If you guys don't know, this is actually Sona's line. This is her own palette that she made and they are gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous colors. So I'm gonna go in first with the color Humble and Audacious and I'm gonna mix those together to create her transition color. Wow, I've never done that. That's so cool. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna start pretty much on the outskirts of her eye and just gonna create a little bit of like a C shape and go in in circular motion. I'm gonna go ahead and work my way up to uh, kind of like the brow bone, not necessarily touching all the way up. Just creating a really nice transition so it looks very natural and, and because I don't want to enclose your eye, I'm not gonna work all the way in. I'm just gonna keep this out towards the outer part and then a little later we'll move in with another color in the crease. So now I'm gonna go in with Audacious and use a smaller tapering brush just to kind of carve out the crease. And I'm focusing this only on the outer part of the eye. I really want to carve in that crease and create that C effect. So I'm lightly going to pat my way in and really pack on this color. So now I'm going to go in with the color Charming and a little bit of Maverick and apply this to the lash line and crease. By doing this, I'm getting a very natural smoky eye and I love that we're not doing wing liner on this either. So she's still going to get that very seductive, sultry look but without it overpowering or being too heavy. Now with the round detailing brush, I'm gonna buff out that line so there's no line of demarcation and it's not too heavy. So I'm just gonna apply a little bit of the color Fearless with that flat brush again, and I'm gonna just reline the lash line a little bit just to darken it up. So next we're gonna go with the color Seductive. Okay, can we yes. just talk about how pretty this color is? It's Super gorgeous. It looks like a, a middle of like a rose gold and like a silver maybe. I don't know. It's just gorgeous. On, it's just gorgeous already on my arm. So I can't imagine how pretty it's gonna look on her eyes. So I'm gonna use that with this Smith uh, flat brush. Put a little bit of Fix Plus on there. Why you're so professional? I love it. Now that I have the product on the eye, I'm just gonna kind of just place it in the middle. You guys, are you seeing this application? So I'm gonna go ahead and pat that on, working my way forward. Look down at the ground. And by looking down, I can really get in between any little fine lines and work my way up and really make sure that I get this like evenly all over the eye. And I love that you used Fix Plus to give it that metallic Yes, look. girl. For anybody that has any kind of brides, this is one reason why I love doing the eyes first. I'm kind of a messy worker and there's a lot of fallout. No matter what, I feel like I'm always kind of heavy handed. Yeah. I love doing this first so that I can really make sure the eyes are the way I want them to be and then that way when I clean up, it's like perfect when everything goes on. And you're also just so much more comfortable working. Oh yeah, this like not yeah. worrying about fallouts and stuff. Thanks. So I'm gonna go in with her favorite mascara, which is the Marc Jacobs mascara. This is actually hers. She brought it and normally I would use like a disposable wand on a bride, but because this is her favorite and it just does like the ultimate most for her lashes, we're gonna be using that. I'm obsessed with this mascara. And before we do the false lashes, I really, like I've always explained to you guys, it's so important to really build up those lashes. So I'm gonna do her mascara first and then apply the individuals over that. I'm gonna go in with the Elegant Lashes to apply her falsies, you guys. I love these on my brides, I've always mentioned that. I have the video on this before, but these are my favorites just to really help to bring out her eyes. So going in first with the long, I'm gonna dip it in my duo, and I'm gonna apply this right to the middle of her eye. And the long one's just, again, going to make it look like she's got those natural, like, just really nice, luscious lashes. And I told you that I love this brand because it does have a more natural flair, so gonna create that perfect lash and then again just going one right in the middle and since my glue is tacky they are just gonna go on and not slide around and one right on the end so I'm focusing it right in the center of her eye just keep right down and now we're gonna double those up again applying one directly on top one in the middle or I'm sorry one on the side and then again one just over that okay. So I always have my clients have their eyes down because what happens is when they close, it can shift the placement of the lashes, whether it's a strip or individual. So just having them have their eyes down makes it a lot easier when you are working, when you are moving them around and adjusting lashes on. So now I'm gonna go in with the medium lashes, which are obviously just a little bit smaller. And then the gaps that I didn't apply, the long ones, I'm gonna apply those right in the center. And because this is preference, you can really build them up as much as you want. You can go over it like 20 times and it'll create the most beautiful lash. But I just like to do it a few times and then kind of go, I kind of just play by ear just so it kind of looks good on her. I'll know if it's too much or if it's not enough. 
All right, so we just kind of went a, a little bit over. We added a few, and I like the more natural look on this because I think it creates like a really nice effect. It's perfect for pictures. And in transition from a day look to a night look, it's perfect for the event. So now that that's done, we're gonna go and start on her foundation and concealer, and work our way back into her eyes a little later. So I'm gonna go in using my favorite foundation. This is the Hourglass foundation. She does have a little more of drier skin, so this is gonna work perfectly on her. If you are oily, I probably honestly wouldn't recommend for your wedding day because it does have more of a slip finish um, but for her she does want that more radiant look she is more dry we did prep her skin and do all that so it's going to just kind of attach onto that really nicely and wear beautifully throughout the day so i'm going to actually go and apply this directly onto the brush rather than on her face because i do want that more subtle look um, but we are going to build it so we're going to apply this all over and this is just the mark jacob's face brush number three and this is really dark for her but it is okay <laughs> She went, she got a tan this morning, okay? This is a, this is the definition this is, of beat. Yeah. This is what beating means, you know? So the foundation has a medium to full coverage and it just it just looks so gorgeous on. I love how it feels so lightweight as well. It's not a heavy finish, but I love that it just creates like a nice even finish on the skin. My face. So we're gonna go in with the shape tape. She's also a huge fan of this concealer. It's our absolute favorite, you guys. So we're gonna go and apply this underneath of our eyes and just give her like a nice like waked up kind of look. So she looks perfect right now. This is oh, yeah. like the look we're getting. Oh. We are getting somewhere. So now I'm just gonna go in with a beauty blender. I'm using their new blush colored beauty blender. It's just perfect for this bridal look. So I'm gonna go ahead and pounce that onto her skin and just gonna press this all over the shape tape. And it's just gonna give you like a really nice blended finish. And then again on the chin, a little bit above the cupid's bow. And then one more time doing it on this side as well, really just pressing that on. It's important that your beauty blender is damp, but not completely soaked in submerged in water. They just wanna get, make sure that it's nice and um, fluffy, but like a marshmallow feeling so that everything blends in nice and seamlessly. I like that you're holding my head. Girl, I gotta like, make sure you, you ain't going nowhere. <laughs> I am beating you no matter what. So I'm gonna spray your skin with a little bit of Fix Plus, and I love to do this right when I'm done with the skin. Taking in my Benefit Hello Flawless Powder to set her entire foundation. This is a color Petal. Um, it is like a nice, beautiful tan shade, and I'm gonna just lightly just press this on. And I'm not like, I don't really like too much powder for wedding days, I just don't want her to look too powdery, so I'm just gonna set this very, very lightly. I'm also gonna be taking in two setting powders. We're gonna be using the Lemur powder and the Laura Mercier as well. And then now I'm just gonna grab those two powders. I'm just going to dust this all over. So I like this because it gives like a very softer, like a soft box is like chilling on your face, you know? So I'm gonna use a little bit of the Benefit Hula Bronzer. You guys know Hula is a bride's best friend and everyone's best friend. This is perfect bronze for like an all over look. So I'm just gonna go ahead and lightly just do this and because I don't want her to look too crazy, we're just gonna do a very, very subtle amount of bronzer on her cheek. I'm not gonna carve it in, I just really wanna bring out her cheekbone. Now I'm gonna grab a little bit of the Urban Decay uh, Blush in the Shade Video. It's my favorite blush color. Like It's perfect for every occasion, no matter if you're getting married, going to party, whatever you're doing. It just adds a perfect amount of color. I'm not a, bl a big blush person. I don't know if you guys have realized that by now. I don't really love blush. Um, because I feel like sometimes it just kind of changes the way the makeup looks. So this one though, I do approve. All right, so while she is baking, we're just gonna go ahead and start contouring her nose a little bit. You know, she wanted the I Love Set E yes. nose contour slayage. So I'm like, you know what? You're gonna get it. I'm gonna go in with that Dose Colors brush, you guys know I love this brush to contour. And we have more of a different nose, so I'm just gonna follow her nose shape and really just help to bring out her nose the way it looks. And then by doing a little bit of like the line across, do you like how it's I not blended? Do you like how it's not blended? No, but I could already tell like the shape, you know? So you guys all know, doing that line across gives you that instant push. It really just makes the nose look a little more pushed up. So now I'm just gonna take the beauty blender in, the booty blender, and blend everything kind of together, just Get it all blended. So we're gonna take in my Makeup Forever Fusion Pro Highlighter on her skin and apply this with the Morphe M510 brush, which is like a fluffier kind of brush. Which I need in my life. I'm gonna start this right on the Highlight Points of her face. And I'm creating like a nice little C shape. Glowing oh my God, it's so pretty. 
pretty carrot. And I always love a little bit on the forehead. If you have texture, you might not like a little too much, but what I like about this is that it just kind of creates more of a natural look. If it's just right here, there's nothing natural about it. So it's always really good to kind of bring it up, even like throw a little bit on top of the brow. I mean, it's really good to just kind of have fun with it. Um, a little bit on the chin. And then of course, on the Kiefer's bow, that is always an area that I... AKA the mustache. Yes, I feel like it's so needed, right? Mm-hmm there to really kind of just captivate that and then you can also do some at the like in the bottom of the lip as well so i'm taking the color audacious and apply this right to her under eye lash line and i always am like a fan of shadow underneath of the eye it just really helps to brighten up the look see it just i mean yeah and enough it's said you know so good gonna go back in with the color sassy and apply this to the inner part of the eye as well just kind of applying it to the under eye I'm going to take in the MAC Coaster Reach Eyeliner, which is like this bronzy. And just applying a little bit of the Marc Jacobs Mascara. And going in vertical motions, so I can just really get in between all those lashes. She has the most beautiful under eye lashes. Alright, so for her lip, we are going to go with a very natural, natural lip. So we're going to apply a little bit of the MAC Hover Lip Pencil, just to kind of define her lip shape. I feel like I need, just to kind of define her lip shape. I feel like I need to be careful because I will overdraw. So I'm going to do my best to just apply this on very lightly and then blend it in with the brush and then apply the colors on top. So if you notice the color is a little more on the brown side and it's totally okay because this is a good way to neutralize any kind of pinks or peaches you might apply or use. I really like mixing tones. I don't feel like you need to do a brown or like orangey kind of lip color and then use the same color. That's absolutely not the case here. Um, with lips you can really just customize and make your own lip color. And I'm going to mix these two colors. This is the Kylie Cosmetics Gloss in the shade, I think it's Candy. Okay. Candy K. And the Sweet Sweet Peach Gloss in the shade Peach Fuzz. And I mixed both of those colors so I to create my own customized color of like a peach and a pink mixed together. So because I don't want her to have matte lips, she wants to have the ability to kiss and eat and just look amazing all night. Drench her face one more time with the Fix Plus. The look is complete, it's done. She's ready to walk down the aisle. Oh ready? my god, it's my freaking. Oh my god, this is so pretty. <laughs> Duh. <laughs> no, but for real, this is seriously the one of the best like makeup applications okay. on my face. Okay, just the hottest bride ever. Would you guys wear this if you're a bride? Let me know what you guys would rock this on your wedding day.